Hi, I'm Lisa from Lisa's Body Blitz. I'm here with you today to teach you five simple, effective steps to make sure that your form is set up perfectly all the time. This is going to come in really handy if you find yourself going through exercises and you're not sure how to engage or how you're supposed to be holding yourself in that move. Um, it's also for the people that have worked out a lot before but haven't really felt like they're engaging or using their body as well as they could be. So here we go. Number one, uh, anchors. Anchors are generally going to be your heels or your palms. We're standing right now and the things that are holding us up are our heels or that's what we're pushing all of our weight into, yeah? So I'm going to ask you to anchor your heels into the floor. You anchor by pressing and screwing them in. If you're ever in a press up position, you'll notice that you can't anchor your heels into the floor. So your anchors become your palms. And that is because it is now your palms that are holding your body weight. So I hope that makes sense. So anyway, number one, you're going to push and screw your anchors into the floor. You will feel the tension that you've just created across your legs. It's easier to distribute your weight across your anchor points and makes it much easier to squeeze in number two, which is your bum. Number three, you're going to engage your core. Um, if you don't know how to engage your glutes and core, I want you to squeeze them both on. And generally you'll find if you're a bit new to engaging um, bum and core or abs, you tend up uh, over tense. So we'll have like 100%, oh my god, I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing. And this can sometimes lead to back aches because you're now over tensing. So what I want you to do is squeeze it to 100% and then I want you to slowly reduce your tenseness or your engagement to 20%. You'll feel like you can breathe and talk a lot more and you won't feel so tense in your lower back. So there you go. Um, I'm moving on then. So we've done glutes and core. Your chest and shoulders is your number four. I really want you to make sure that your chest is out and your shoulders are back. I'm going to show you from the side. This is me being relaxed. When I apply my five, I'll go anchors, glutes, core, chest and shoulders. And then I'll put my rib cage over my belly button. Five steps is perfect form. That last point there, in case you missed it, after your four, which is chest and shoulders, you're going to make sure your rib cage is over your belly button. Five steps is perfect form. I have good anchors, good bum, good core, good chest and shoulders, rib cage over belly button. When you hold yourselves in this way, you actually feel like you're giving yourself a hug from the inside, and that is kind of exactly what you're doing. Your body is protecting your spine and giving it a nice little hug to make sure that when you do these movements, you're gonna be doing it as safely as possible. You will also be able to feel so much difference in your press ups, in your squats, literally in every single exercise that you're doing if you focus on your five things. If you're ever in doubt, check out your five things. Anchors, glutes, core, chest, shoulders, and rib cage. And there we go. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you do have any troubles with it, I'm sure you won't, but if you do, please feel free to get in touch with me. Um, I'm always here to wish you the best along your journey. So have a great day and I'm sure I'll be speaking to you soon.